There's no reason to have to have these conversations. It's bull****. You know it, and I know it. Shaking mad while standing amongst 9-11 victims, John Stewart implored lawmakers to fix the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund once and for all by extending it for 70 years and giving it an uncapped budget. This is your opportunity to write a final chapter for these men and women who fought for 18 years. They fought when nobody believed they were sick. They fought when nobody believed that their sickness was caused by 9-11. They fought when nobody thought their health care was worth paying for. They fought every step of the way. And it is an embarrassment to us and our country. The recent news that the compensation fund is about to run out of money and payments will be slashed created outcry from the widows of NYPD officers who succumbed to cancer. Unfortunately, we lost that battle. And my husband died waiting for the VCF and believing that this country was going to stand here and protect his family. Two children sent back to school in lower Manhattan when the air wasn't fit to breathe. And this is especially disappointing because, you know, we're facing longer latency periods. We were very young when we were exposed. And so we're just starting to see our illness rates spike now, just as the VCF is about to close its doors to us. To people who worked on the pile, searching for survivors ready to fight on once more. We will never be disrespected again, ever. You're either with us or you're against us. What these victims and advocates want is a clean spending bill passed. Democratic lawmakers at the rally expressed a level, a level of confidence that would happen soon. But Stewart said he's skeptical based on his understanding of the track record of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. McConnell's yet to comment on this.